The Menstrual Equity for All Act, introduced by Democratic Assemblywoman Cristina Garcia, will eliminate taxes on menstrual products. It will also expand access to free sanitary pads and tampons in public schools. The bill also requires that all gender-neutral restrooms and at least one men's restroom have accessibility to these products. According to the law, it's sixth through 12th grade, and um, it's at an at least one men's bathroom. And everywhere where these are facilitated, there's supposed to be a notice on the wall saying that it's California law and that there needs to be access to free tampons and menstrual pads as well and hygiene products in all gender bathrooms, in women's bathroom, and at least one men's bathroom. Esther Valdez Clayton, a trustee for the Coronado Unified School District in Southern California, gave a divided opinion on the bill. She said the bill is intended to provide access to menstrual products, especially minorities who may not have access or finances to obtain these products. But she also said that the bill contained portions that she described as, quote, inexplicable and illogical. That was about menstrual products in the men's bathroom. Valdez Clayton says one legislator commented that it was to normalize menstruation amongst all genders. It has everything to do with what they said that they intended to do. Normalize menstruation among all genders. That means to educate the next generation of Americans to believe that men have a uterus, men have a need to menstruate, men have a, have a the reproductive system, and that anybody can cross over and be a man and have a period and be a woman and have a period. She goes on to say that we are supposed to be educating children in academics and not indoctrinating them. She stressed that many parents have no idea that this is even going on. Valdez Clayton argues that legislators are using race and poverty as an excuse to pass an underlying agenda. As a Latina, I'm tired of being used consistently because of my race, because of my skin color, to justify the normalization of something that has really has to do with morality and a psychological condition. It has nothing to do with impoverished uh, women. She added that the language of the bill did not include the term women, but instead used menstruating persons. It's the right thing to do to provide for poor women, but why do our boys have to be exposed to that. Uh, it's a, not a biological need for that. And that really shows forth their true meaning, their true intent. Clayton added that it is important that parents talk with their children, get involved with their local school boards, and stay up to date with current policies going on. Jackie Rios, NTD News, Los Angeles.